so now before moving to the wind and pressure part i'm going to move to the server side part so here inside our weather app component or weather app page we are calling this get weather info on this created hook but we are using nuxt so nuxt provides server side rendering with two very easy functions or attribute uh, we call it so async data what async data will do it will fetch the data before rendering the page actually so i will copy this from here and go and just anywhere i will going to paste it so i think i have not copied properly paste it uh, two times one time only okay so we are having async data and which is going to get almost everything we want from our application so generally what i will do to get the parameter i will say this dot dollar route dot params this is we do this kind of things so because we are using the server side rendering it will automatically fetch all these things params so where is that yeah here so this is not just axios because we are on nuxt so i will say this dot dollar next and actually we have used the at nuxt component or module we have used this one uh, this module that's why we are we have to use this dot dollar axios otherwise normal axios will also going to work and this has to be dollar and then inside this let's move from here to here then whenever we get and now see we are already have the weather data here and then whenever we fetch we are moving the result or response into the weather but with async data it will return and before creating the component it will create the data for you you don't have to define it here so what i'm going to do i will delete the weather from here and i will say whenever you have all these things what you need to do on this response return weather and that has to be actually the response so it's same just like here but instead of this because see before uh, loading the component this component doesn't know what kind of data it has so that's why whenever we have server side rendering it will actually get the data move it to weather data and push it here so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this created hook i'm going to delete this weather info method and save this file but also refresh it and you can see at the top it's doing something so i think it's doing uh, it says dollar axios ah <laughs> one thing more uh, here we are saying this dot dollar axios because again before rendering the page if page is not rendered so how we can access this how we can access this city so what we need to do we need to act we need to actually get the dollar axios from here that we have already solved but how we can get the city so i think again yeah you can see it's giving error for city now what we can do we can by default give some kind of city name so maybe i can give the city name of london so it will fetch before rendering the page so refresh this page and it will take little amount of time because it's rendering on the server so if i open network tab refresh this page you cannot see any ajax request but if i move between the components so if i go to the uh, we cannot go so let's make this learning next uh, what we can say <laughs> a link to the home page so on the layout learning next has to be a link so 
n link is like this and this is going to the base url okay that's weather is not defined what's happening here okay so if i click here we are here but if i go to the weather app now we can see we have this ajax request but if i refresh this page we don't have the ajax request so that's what we call server side rendering when we need server side rendering we do that otherwise we do the ajax part so you can see if i change the city name it's giving error because there is no get info let's move close it there is no get info uh, get weather info function so i think we need this function so i will undo all these things because i need that function and i will cut it or actually copy it and redo everything oh, like this okay so this is how we can get it so now for the server side we are having this code and for the normal application we are having this code to fetch the data that's very nice so if i go refresh this page yeah that's on the london and now if i say bhopal is changing to bhopal if i say any other city is like chicago huh, chicago we have so like this this kind of things we have so this is server side rendering and in that way your user doesn't have to wait for the data it's prefetched so we will meet in the next episode till then till then goodbye